we are the way we are as a nation because it's supposed to be church and then then culture. You know, church is supposed to be like the forefront of like what comes of our nation and what comes of our yeah. of our uh, society. Uh, but we haven't really seen that and experienced that in our lifetime, right? It's right. we've kind of got the tail end of seeing what that looks like, and I think we're we're seeing the passive wrath because of that from the Lord. Yeah. Would you agree with that? As far as just like the, I feel like there's like birthing pains. I feel like there's like, because we've turned our face or turned our backs against God, it's like we're seeing that, that kind of in society and seeing it in the culture of like the agendas and the the wickedness and all these things kind of take place because the church isn't that much separated from the world right now. It's almost like we got too yeah. ingrained into culture and we haven't, we've got too much into like the me, <laughs> the little God in me, like religion almost you know like yeah. i'm above i'm above or this is my platform I, and even this man like i'll be real like i have a really like i have to give this to the lord constantly because i do i have to surrender the ego i have to like surrender it's not about zach you know i have to delicately balance the line of like how much do i share about my personal life because like i want it to be honored to him and about him and not be about me you know i don't want yeah. this to feel like it's a diary or a show of you know like you know what i mean like you have to yeah. really surrender yourself to him in all things when it comes to to ministry because it's not my ministry it's his ministry that's right yeah you know i, I made a post on uh on instagram yesterday i have a, a real estate photography business that um that i'm running right now and i've just really heard the lord say like to just give it right back to him everything i do just give right back to him and so i posted on there yesterday like you know how do you like start and steward a kingdom business and long story short the the way that you do that is just say lord it'll never be mine it'll always be yours it's every day saying god I give this back to you. It's saying, Lord, I'm Abraham. I give you my Isaac every day. I give you my Isaac every day. Whenever you do that, like you're not just showing him, you're really showing yourself like, Lord, I trust you. Lord, like I only want you. I only want you. Your presence is all that, all that I want. Like anytime I'm going to shoot photos for a house, you know, for, for a realtor, I'm praying for that realtor on the way up because I'm so in ground. I'm really trying to approach, approach it all. It's like, okay, Lord, I want this to be all for you, all about you. So how can I do that? Well, I can pray for this realtor on the way up there. I can pray while I'm in that house taking these photos. I can offer all, all of the realtors free breakfast and a Bible study and not to market myself, but just to give them the presence of the Lord. You know, if we have more kingdom things set up like that with a podcast, just like this man and saying, Lord, it belongs to you. It doesn't belong to me. You know, at that point, he's like, great. Now abundance comes, you know, yes. now more listeners come because it's not in your strength, it's in his. And what's really you know interesting, just since we're talking about my business, um, two weeks ago, so I've been in the banking world for like the past you know seven, eight years. And specifically the, the last two years was in mortgage. And uh, we know we just seen a decline in the mortgage industry and stuff and no big deal. Um, two weeks ago, I lost my job. And uh, honestly, like whenever I lost it, so me, me and David, we, we committed to one another, like, Hey, let's, let's go on a fast. And so we had planned for a fast, like a week out. We're like, okay, next week we're going to start a fast, start a fast on Monday. I get a call Monday morning at 11 AM, two weeks ago saying that I lost my job. And uh, they're like, just reduction in force. We're doing mass layoffs. I'm like, okay. And so, uh, get off the phone and, <laughs> and I, I, my wife walks in and she's like, so is everything okay? I'm like, I just lost my job. And I just, I just start laughing, you know? Uh, I mean, I cried later for sure. But, <laughs> but in that moment, I was like, I, I, I just started laughing and I'm like, I lost my job, you know? But it was in October of last year, I heard the Lord say, start doing real estate photography. Not even knowing. I'm like, why would I do that? I've never done photography. I can learn how to do it, but I've never dabbled in it before. Lord, I, I don't know how to do all this stuff, how to get a business going, all this, whatever. But if you tell me to do it, you deserve my yes. I gave him my yes. And now um, I'm not having to go search out for another job. I'm just stepping into what he planted, you know, back in October, telling me to do so. Um, and what's what's great too is I started that fat, the same day I started that, that week long fast with David was whenever uh, the same day I lost my job. And I'm like, all right. I'm like, I, I remember I had to go to work that, an hour later, drop off all my stuff. And I'm, I'm, Jesus, walk, so I'm walking, I know I was, it, it, it was, it was awkward. It's like a movie, you know, but, and I had my shades on cause I did not cause I was going to cry there, but I'm like, it's just awkward. I, I don't want people like, I was more so like, I don't want them to feel weird. Like, cause it kind of feels weird for me being here. Like y'all just let me go. And so I, uh, 
So anyway, so I, I walk in there and I hear the Lord say, like, take off your glasses because I want them to see the joy you have. Oh, wow. And so I'm like, okay. So uh, I, my boss, he meets me. He's like, man, I'm so sorry. I'm like, you've been the best boss I've ever had. I'm like, I understand. I hugged my other boss. You know, I said, hey, thank you so much for everything. I walk out of that building, start bawling my eyes out because I would, on my lunches uh, for a year and a half there, you know, I would pray walking around that building. Oh, wow. And just giving that land. I said, Lord, this land doesn't belong to me, but I give it to you to make it holy. Mm -hmm. And uh, I was going out of driving out. And I'm just bawling my eyes out. I'm like, Lord, I just pray that my, my prayers actually affected the land here. And uh, I'm not going to give the enemy my joy. Yeah. I'm like, I've done that too much in the past, so I'm going to deny my flesh as my fast is wanting me, is calling me to do. I'm denying my flesh, and I'm just going to cling to joy. And so, uh, yeah, I definitely wanted to eat because, I, you know, you lose a job, you have something bad happen. You're like, oh, crud, I want to just give me the blue bell or something, just yeah. go gorge. But, uh, but yeah, it was uh, – that's how – now I'm just going at my business with that. Wow. So uh, Remind me again, how many weeks are you into it? Um, essentially the beginning of May. So beginning two and a half weeks now. Bro. So, um, so yeah, I had one client I was specifically desiring, like, I want to win her business, win her business. I just really respected her. Mm -hmm. And, uh, and she posted on, um, I did a few shoots, a few shoots for her. And then she posted on my Facebook telling all of her other realtors, she was like, Hey, he, he's won my business. I'm like, Oh God, you did it. You <laughs> yeah. did it. But I gave my business to him. Yeah. And so, and here's the thing, if the Lord takes it away, he takes it away because it doesn't belong to me. It belongs to him. Yeah. So no, it doesn't matter. For everybody listening and watching, make sure you subscribe to the show. Please share this episode specifically with a friend that you think could benefit it, whether it be the infertility story, the loss of a loved one, a worship leader, how church should be. I feel like we covered so many great yeah. topics today that somebody else can really benefit from. So please share it if you don't mind. Subscribe to the YouTube. And if you want to help us out and partner with us, you can do so on Patreon. We launched it in May 1st. <laughs> Super exciting. I know. It's so great, man. We already have 10 on there. So shout out to all Sweet. 10 of you that are yeah. actually uh, partnering with us. It is every single single time one of them came in bro like the emails i would just smile with joy like there you go. look at you doing people believe in what we're doing like yeah. you're faithful lord so thank you to all 10 of you some shout outs will be coming around the way at the end of the month for that as well and then also if you want to support the ministry in any way just give a little one-time giving you can go to i like birds i like birds slash support or you can go get a copy of uh, 21 days in africa on that website as well uh, i'll even sign it and send it your way it'll help bless the ministry and also read a little bit more about my story and a mission trip to Africa. So definitely appreciate y'all being here and we'll see you next time for another great episode about Jesus. All right. Cheers.